If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I'd want to go to Papua New Guinea to help missionaries there teach people about Jesus. I'd also kind of like to go to Patagonia, Argentina and South America because that's where some of the largest dinosaur fossils ever discovered in the world have been found. What about Dr. Bob Foster? Do you remember where in the world he wanted to go? He and Belva were planning to get married and move to Mukingi, Zambia in Africa to be missionaries there after Bob graduated from medical school. But in order to graduate, Bob had to take a final exam that cost $50, which was way more money than Bob had and more money than he could earn fast enough to take the test. How would Bob get the money? Keep watching to find out. Bob Foster was almost finished studying to be a doctor, but he needed money to take his final medical exam. The cost was $50, which was a lot of money back then. Bob prayed and was sure God would provide, but he didn't know how. Every day, Bob checked the mail to see if someone had sent him money, but he got nothing, and again, nothing. The day of the test arrived, and Bob still didn't have any money. Bob prayed again and decided he would walk to the examination place even though he didn't have money to pay for the exam. He met the mailman on the way. Do you have anything for me, Bob asked anxiously. No, sorry, said the mailman as he walked away. Bob was discouraged. He wouldn't be able to take the exam after all. Then, suddenly, he heard the mailman shouting at him. Hey, wait, there is one for you. I almost missed it. Bob rushed over to get the envelope and quickly opened it. What do you think was inside? It was $50, the exact amount of money Bob needed. There was no letter or any way to show who it was from. Someone had obeyed God and put $50 in an envelope and sent it to Bob. Bob went and took his exam. He passed and now he was Dr. Bob Foster. Shortly after that, he and Belva got married. They spent the next year preparing to leave for Zambia, Africa. Bob talked to a lot of people and churches who supported his plans to build a missionary hospital. These people gave money and supplies that Dr. Bob would need to start a hospital in Zambia. Many of them promised to pray for the Fosters. It was an exciting time. Finally, after years of studying and preparation, it was time for Dr. Bob, Belva, and their new baby, Steve, to sail for Africa. After a long journey, the Fosters arrived at the mission station in Mu Kingi, where his parents were waiting. It was an amazing answer to prayer that Bob would be the doctor that his parents had prayed for all those years ago. Dr. Bob started helping people right away. He didn't have a hospital yet, but he started a clinic and began seeing many, many patients. He performed simple operations and helped as many people as he could. While they helped heal people's bodies, Dr. Bob told people about Jesus every chance he got and many people believed in Jesus to save them from their sin. Since there wasn't a hospital yet, people would build huts outside the clinic where families would stay with the person who was getting better. Soon, there were dozens of huts around the clinic. Word quickly spread that there was a doctor who could help people. And Dr. Bob was busy all day long. Being a doctor in this remote village was challenging. He had used modern medical technology and supplies in his university training. But here in Mukingi, he often didn't have the modern medical technology he needed. He had to be creative and find things around the mission that could be used in place of what he needed. And even though he had learned a lot at school, there was operations he still needed to learn to do. Sometimes he had a book open in the operating room while he did surgery so he could learn what to do step by step during the operation. It was hard work and Dr. Bob knew that in order to help more people, he would need more help. So the Fosters began praying for more help. They asked God to send a trained nurse to help them do the good work of healing people's bodies while they also told them about Jesus and how he could heal their souls by saving them from sin. God answered that prayer. A nurse in the United States had heard Bob speak at a Bible college. She had been praying about it and decided that God wanted her to move to Africa and serve with Dr. Bob in Moon Kinji. Bob and Belva were very excited when the nurse arrived and they got to work. Now they could do more complicated surgeries and help more people. But Dr. Bob knew they could help even more people if they built a hospital. But starting a hospital was a lot of work. How would God make that happen? 
keep watching our next videos to find out. Will Dr. Bob be able to build a hospital? You can find out in our next video. You'll also find out how God protected Dr. Bob from a spitting cobra and an explosion. To learn even more about Dr. Bob, your family can even download a free copy of the entire Bob Foster Missionary Story for Kids at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. This free Missionary Story for Kids has pictures, coloring pages, and activity ideas to help parents and teachers share this true story with kids. Your family can also help missionaries like Dr. Bob who are telling people about Jesus around the world by picking a missionary or several missionaries that you will pray for, support, and encourage regularly. In my family, we use a globe to find the places our missionaries live and pray for one of them every day. This year, we used a free global prayer guide from Voice of the Martyrs to learn about and pray for different countries every day and for the missionaries and people there telling others about Jesus. And right now, one of our missionaries is in Papua New Guinea helping to fix airplanes that missionaries use to go tell people about Jesus in places you could never get to in a car or truck. So my kids are taking turns finding Papua New Guinea on the globe and praying for that missionary every day. Maybe your family could do something like this too. I'll share a link to the global prayer guide and the free Bob Foster missionary story in the video description below in case your family wants to use these things to help missionaries tell people about Jesus. Thanks for watching.